Africa, how they do uh, is serve the coffee. First, what we do, uh, we bring the coffee bean, we wash it very, very well. This coffee, as you see, is very organic and natural. It's not processed, it's not, it's not it's as we take it from the, from the farm, okay? Then after washing it, as you see here, as you look, the lady here is roasting the coffee. After we're roasting it, we move to the third step where we grind the coffee. As you see it here, soft, very nice. So after we grind the coffee, we move to the fourth step, which is in Africa and Ethiopia, they've been using this for hundreds of years to make coffee. So we put water, we boil the water in this, in the clay pot. It is called traditionally Jebana, Jebana in Ethiopia. So we put the water, we boil it, it takes some time to boil it, and then after that, we put the coffee inside. The coffee and the water boil together. Uh, it takes at least half an hour of boiling. This is clay, it takes time, and it gives a very, very interesting uh, flavor. We move to the fifth step, where we put the coffee in the cup. The must-have Ethiopian coffees would be Yergachev, Harar and Sadamo and the flavor profiles mostly range from floral and citrusy to jammy and wild. We also made a quick stop to taste some Kenyan coffee. At Saudi Arabia, we tasted the Saudi kava, which is made from coffee beans lightly roasted with a dash of cardamom, traditionally served with dates. Yemeni coffee is one of the most distinctive tasting coffees in the world. The acidity is bright and complex. And the flavor is alive with notes that range from candied fruit to wine to dark chocolate. The weather is just perfect and I am already overdosing on coffee. I've just been having the world's best coffees that you could find at Global Village today. My name is Yamini and we're signing off this episode of the Global Village Guide Season 2.